This is just stalling so I can get the thing set up. Yeah. Just, just say do your best and take your time. Yeah, just make sure you, you do your best and, and take your time. Good. You know, I mean, this is like, technically it's a race, technically. I couldn't agree more. But it, you know, it I also couldn't. needs to be right. Couldn't agree more. Bodie McBoat Pants in the chat says the magic number. Yes, indeed. 33 is the magic number. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This CAD vs. CAD battle between Great Nate 08, our number one seed, using Fusion 360, and Crispy Co., our number 11 seed. How did Crispy Co. get so far in this tournament, number 11 seed? It's a great question. It's because, you know, the way you qualify is a little different from what you do when you're actually live. Some guys just have that dog in them, you know, that comes out mm -hmm. when they get in game. Mm -hmm. That's what Crispy Co. is. Guys, give it up for Crispy Co. Yeah. And give it up for Great Nate 08 as All well. All right, yeah. Let's go, guys. We're excited for this one. Here we go. This CAD vs. CAD battle between Fusion 360 and SolidWorks begins in... Three, two, one, go. go. What is the mass of this part in XX.XX pounds? Well, Once again, pounds. pounds. We love pounds. This part's called wheel bracket. What is it? Some sort of bracket for a wheel? It's some sort of a bracket for a wheel, I believe. Okay. That's an interesting... All right, so it looks like both of our runners have grabbed the screen capture successfully. And now we're going to flip over to our CAD versus CAD battle. Crispy Co. on the right running SolidWorks. Oh, he's doing a full restart. Switch into a different template. I think he chose the wrong template to begin with. Is that going to give Great Nate the edge he needs to secure the point in this match? I noticed that his computer was taking just a couple seconds to load. Crispy Co. or Great Nate? Uh, Crispy Co. Okay. Maybe that could be an advantage of using Fusion, which does run in the cloud. You might not get that with a solid box computer. That's the other thing. Yeah, Crispy Co. might want to look into a solid box computer to avoid that in the future. Great point, Tom. Thank you. Great point. Great Nate 8 on the left using the slot tool. We love when users use the slot tool. It's one of our favorite things to see in these competitions. Oh, but he's cooking now. He's absolutely cooking. I love this approach from Great Nate 8. I love when these guys are running and, and you can't really tell at first what they're doing, what they're up to, and then you realize it and you're like, this is a great, this is a great point. Chris is looking for clarification. Wait, Chris is looking for clarification. Oh, inches. Yes, inches. Oh, God. Did I have MMGS on the print? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's in inches. Sorry, curse word, guys. It's in inches. It's in inches. Oh, man. Looks like they both are in inches, so I think we're good. Oh, this is a good song. <laughs> this sounds like a John Carpenter song. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep, units were different on the title block, sorry. That is correct. He's in I can tell he's in inches. I can see it down there. And I think I think he's in inches too. Yeah, Barry, we're all over the place with these units tonight. The drawing is in inches. And the weight, the weight that we're looking for is in pounds, but the density is shown in kilograms per cubic meter. And there's a misprint on the, on the drawing title block that says MMGS. It's inches. It's inches. Glad the clarification came early. Yeah, that's a good point. It is a tier five model. So that gives both of our runners a chance to catch up if one of them fell behind. Say again. Or to me? To me? <laughs> this guy's talking about whipping me with a with a rod. <laughs> I'm in. Is that a measurement conversion? <laughs> wow. Guys, what's your favorite unit of measurement? Put it in the chat. Oh yeah. Mine is of course hands. Yeah. yeah. Hands. I like that. Bananas? That's a good one. Bananas is a good one, too. Yeah. Man, what a treat to watch these two masters of yeah. CAD. 
I wish we would have gotten to see that last model. That last model was that port cover. He really, uh, port mount, that he really, they both really got that done quickly. Sure. But you can't live in the past. No, you cannot. Interesting here to see uh, both of our runners are creating this geometry for the upper section in a way that uh, definitely would have, uh, would not have been the way that I did it. You know, when you look at geometry like that and you've got overlapping features like that, you have to be a little bit careful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to say too much, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have to be a little bit careful about what's going on. Cubits and Leagues, MUC Racing says Cubits and Leagues. Dave says Smut, and immediately John says Smuts. So you guys were both thinking of the same unit at exactly the same time. What is a Smut? Uh, obscure unit. Yeah, what is a Smut? Furlongs. Barry says oh, Furlongs. I got Edward Furlong. Nice. Parsec. I like that. Olympic pools. Let's go. Okay. Prefer to do measurements in obscure things. That 14 ants long or 2.5 gerbil tail. Nice. Interesting. Finger. Dishwashers. Dishwashers. Let's go. I like that. Man, I looked. I was reading the chat. I looked away from Chris Biko's screen. What What happened with his design? It looks like half his design went away. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's your answer. It's all back. Okay. Interesting. He knows what he's doing. And this is. Oh, okay. This, this is, is so cool to see. This is ABS, right? Uh, we're on this this one over Oops, here. Oops, excuse me. Plain Sorry. carbon steel. Don't listen to me. Yep. Plain, Plain carbon right. steel. Steel. It's all right. We got a lot of different materials going. Rambros in the chat says, I think I got it. Wow. That's fast if he's really got it. We're going to see him. Is Fusion that laggy or is it just the stream? It's probably the stream more than the software. I don't think the software is lagging. I think it's probably the stream. Hamburgers per football field. Oh, pressure unit like that whoa that's that's like true americana right there mm -hmm. this is so interesting as we've seen this happen many times in the past both of our runners are almost at the exact same feature at the exact same time we see chris Biko adding in that cut extrude from that upper section with the tombstone that's kind of sticking up and we saw that Great NATO 8 had just finished that. They are so close. Aaron C in the chat. These two are so close. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is going to be interesting how they're going to do this. Yeah, we've got this uh, additional geometry here kind of coming up from the bottom. There's a little bit of a counter bore on the bottom and a counter bore on the top. Mm -hmm. So we'll see which of our runners is more skilled with their whole creation. They are both neck and neck though. This could go either way. Interesting, Chris Biko here trying to create the, looks like he's trying to create the rib, but he's going to be going around and using convert entities. And now he's running into this thing where um, looks like SolidWorks was trying to force him to do it as a thin feature. Hmm. So kind of trying to force him to extrude the perimeter. Great Nate, on the other hand, looks like he's going to be trying to do it as a rib. We'll see if he has more success. It may be because of the order in which he created those features. You see Great Nate created that circular boss sticking up from the bottom there. And that kind of gave his rib a, termination point i yeah. think that might make a difference that's probably how i would have done it you would have made that boss first mm -hmm. i think it makes sense but one thing that's interesting is he made the boss and included the hole when he created it where i probably would have oh he's doing the final spin oh. guys we're doing a final spin here we might be seeing an answer chris is just trying to give us a delete faith little bonus feature there Okay, and Great Nate coming in with his answer. 17.595 pounds. That is not correct. 17.595 pounds. That is not correct. Just double checking my notes. 
17.595 pounds. That is not correct. This music is tense. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, and we got Chris B. Co. coming in with an answer. 17.70 pounds. That is not correct. That is not correct. Could still go either way, guys. What is the mass of this part in XX.XX pounds? This part is in inches. Materials, plain carbon steel. 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. 1DFGA says 17.7 euros. Okay, we'll, we'll allow that. Not, not in the competition. We're going to let these guys answer. My whole production staff just got really excited. <laughs> Saw that number coming in. Come on. You got it, guys. Dom, cheering them on. Guys, cheer them on. Let's let them know. They got some support. Yeah. Come on, guys. You got this. I wish I had this when I was working in, in industry. Yeah. Or somebody was behind me going, yeah, yeah. you can do it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Instead, they were like, you're going to have that done? Yeah. We got to get that out the door. I saw it in the chat says, do it. Scott Evans says, I'd be seven or eight sketches to do that and just brute force with extrudes and holes and fillets. Yeah, hmm. exactly. So now both of our runners, both of our runners have the opportunity to answer incorrectly one time. And then they have to answer correctly. What is the mass of this part in XX.XX pounds? It's in inches. It uses plain carbon steel. We saw the first two answers came in relatively close to one another. Question is, what is the mass of this part in XX.XX pounds? And what was the mistake? You're allowed to answer incorrectly one time. If you answer incorrectly a second time, then that's it. You're out. But then the other person gets the clock of doom. And that can be kind of a, a, its own strategy. Yeah. Right? We like the clock of doom. Do you think that the clock of doom and the wheel of fate would be friends outside of this competition? That's a great question. Thank you. <laughs> Scott Evans in the chat asking a great question. Uh. Okay, and Nathaniel Black coming in with an answer. 17.74 pounds. And that is correct. Oh. And we're going to a third match, baby. Woo! Great Nate coming in literally on the bottom of the uh, available tolerance. I had 17.76 pounds. Very, you know, patriotic. And um, plus or minus 0 0.02, 17.74 is correct. Great, neat. Wow, wow, wow. Great job. Man, now we get to go to a third match, so we all are the winners. Yeah. GG to all of us. GG. How much is plus or minus point? Oh. One? I got it in my answer key as point two. That's oh, yeah, point one. That thing was just fraught with errors, okay? We're still giving it to Nate. What a comeback, bro. We're going to third match. All right. Congratulations. Tolerance. I had an F. Yeah, I wondered if maybe you had not shown your full answer or didn't submit with your full answer, uh, Chris Pico. Is that what you're saying? Is that what happened? You did 17.7 and you had 17.74? Because that, that's brutal. I had 17.7592, but, but just submitted 17.7. .7. Brutal. Guys, this is how we end up going to a third match. Yeah, 5-9, whatever you had there, that would have been correct. That would have been actually spot on.